This introduction to the nasopharynx was created by Beyond 5 for the benefit of patients and families affected by nasopharyngeal cancer. The throat, also known as the pharynx, has three parts. The upper part is the nasopharynx, which is located at the back of the nose and above the soft palate, soft roof of the mouth. The nasopharynx connects the nasal cavity to the oropharynx, the space behind the mouth where the tonsils are. This allows air breathed into the nose to be carried down through the voice box into the lungs. It also allows mucus from the nose to be swallowed or spat out. The nasopharynx is also very close to the nerves that come from the brain to the eyes, face, tongue and parts of the throat. Cancer that starts in the nasopharynx is called nasopharyngeal cancer. Nasopharyngeal cancers can only be seen with a special camera in the nose, so often the first sign of cancer is a lump in the neck. If nasopharyngeal cancer develops, it can sometimes block the eustachian tube, a narrow channel which connects the nasopharynx to the middle ear. This can cause symptoms including hearing loss, usually on one side only, or a feeling of fullness in the ear. Nasopharyngeal cancer can also cause a persistent blocked or stuffy nose, often on one side, and repeated nosebleeds in someone who has never had these problems before. If the cancer grows, it can press against nerves that control eye movements, causing blurred or double vision. Other nerves can also be affected, causing numbness in the face and difficulty with speech or swallowing. Most often, these symptoms are not from nasopharyngeal cancer. However, if you have any of these symptoms for more than a few weeks, talk to your doctor so that problems can be diagnosed and treated as early as possible. Nasopharyngeal cancers may also spread to lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are bean-shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defence against infection. Nasopharyngeal cancers are generally treated with radiation therapy, often in combination with chemotherapy. Depending on the size and the location of the cancer, your specialist will suggest treatment options that are suitable for you. For further information, please visit www.beyond5.org.au.